Welcome back, didn't see you there. You know, this dust situation is getting out of hand. And I really need something that works a little better than this. I made this a while back. It's got magnets in six different spots. The problem is, it got secured here with these bolts that were supposed to track themselves to the magnet. Didn't do the best job, came loose, snapped. It, it doesn't work real well. So I redesigned my own, and we're gonna go ahead and make a whole new dust shoe to go on the CNC. That should uh, alleviate some of this cleanup situation. This is the material that I'm gonna use to make the top frame of the dust shoe. And this material here is what I'm gonna use to make the bottom frame, and that's gotta get a lot of clearing. This is gonna make a lot of plastic chips. This isn't so expensive as it is that it takes a while to get, so I went and made a fake piece so I can test my design first so then I don't trash this and get all mad and then have to reorder it and then wait a week to get it. So we're gonna try it out on this, and then when it works, which I'm sure it will, we're gonna go ahead and do it on this. I've been using double stick tape to hold down my work pieces and it's been working out real well for me. So I kind of realized I had a problem because this test started out really deep. And the design, the zero from my Z axis should have been the top of the work piece. But usually, as I did in this case, is I set it to the bottom. And we're gonna have a crash here in just a second. Thank God for e-stop. So then I set my zero as the top of the workpiece and you can see here that it's gonna work out fine. Then I did all the pocket holes for the magnets and then did all the clearing. And once I saw that this was gonna work, I went ahead and did my quarter inch bit testing. And then I did the quarter inch for the bottom frame. And then did the half inch bit on the bottom frame and then we were good to go. I changed the order of the milling once I actually put the plastic down, did the pockets first and then went ahead and did the adaptive clearing. Then cleared out the pockets for the router and for the dust hose connection. And then cut the whole thing out. Once the top frame was cut out, then I started on the bottom frames with the quarter inch first and I cut the groove that the brush would fit in and used my half inch bit to actually cut out the shape of it and eventually do the adaptive clearing in the center of the frame itself. Once the clearing was all done, then I cut out the pockets for the magnets on the opposite side on the bottom frame. So I took the magnets that were going to be on the other frame and made sure that their polarity was correct so that it would make the proper connection. So once I had that figured out, I lined it up with the frame and I tapped those magnets into the opposite side of the frame. And when I went to put it back on, I noticed I had the magnet in the wrong side of the hole and had to tap it back down to the other side. I 
I just used regular glue and two part epoxy to hold the brush in place. And I had these inserts that went into the holes and that helped in holding the brush in place as well. These inserts will be used for these 8mm screws as registration guides to help the frame being held in place. So you can see I had to trim a little bit off the top edge of the frame. That worked out real well because then it made for a good secure connection up against the the axis bracket. There's a little bow to the frame and that kept it from fitting completely flat. So I just heated it up, put some weight on it, and that fixed the problem and we got a real good connection once this sat overnight. Got this mounted in here, this fits real tight. Put that on there, we're good to go. Been waiting a long time to do this project because it was getting a little messy around here in the shop. So this was kind of a fun, kind of a needed to be done, but next up project's gonna be a fun project. It's probably gonna be a Lazy Susan with some distressed wood. That's what I call dust collection. This was a great project. This is really gonna help out around the shop. So, if you get a chance, if you could uh, like and subscribe our channel, we'd appreciate it. And uh, we'll see you on our next project. Bye.